BC here. Hi guys and gals. Hi, it's Sunday morning. Oh, kind of nice. And as you see, every Sunday, I was almost going to say, I have a layer less. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, really quite warm. Right now it is 18, uh, 18 Celsius here. So, you know, you can, you can figure it out, but it's pretty warm. Uh, and yeah, we worked out outside a lot yesterday. I was really, put it this way, I'll show you quickly what, I'm, what I worked on. I was really annoyed, I'll tell you why. That is a new, uh, a new uh, grill pavilion, our barbecue pavilion. Uh, I thought, you know, that I enjoyed my older one and it was more solid and everything, but you couldn't get the, uh, you couldn't get the parts, so to say, you know, like the, the canopy and so on. And it ends up, and that really gets my goat actually after a while. Uh, we are in a, a wasted, uh, waste all society at times. Um, some people have told me you can make a canopy. Okay, and there are places, because this is a special material because it's, you know, uh, it's for a barbecue. So it's, it's not something that inflames. Uh, so there's a flame retardant. I don't know what exactly is uh, in the material. But anyway, having said that, it costs, would have cost more than to buy a new one. Then to, uh, they made the new ones, you can't get the canopies or the canopies that you can get. I did mention that the last time. Uh, the size is different. They've shaved off a little bit here and shaved off a little bit there. And they've made it in a way uh, that you cannot use uh, any other parts. The only parts that were usable, put it that way, were the nuts and bolts. Now, to add, I mean, to the insult, I'm going to I'm gonna have to write a uh, bad client recommendation. Imagine there weren't enough nuts and bolts. The, the main ones, the ones that, you know, were a bit everywhere. I think I I was missing something like five or six of them. So I used this from the older barbecue. Now, a uh, canopy. So what am I gonna do now? I don't know, I mean, I've put it, we've stored it under the, under the deck over there. And I am extremely annoyed. I don't want to get rid of it. At the same time, it's just taking up space. The new one is slightly smaller. I guess I won't notice it when I'm actually doing the barbecues. But, you know, there's a whole bunch of little details. Uh, the shells, I had like fire-resistant glass on the other ones. This one is just like metal grids. You know, li little details. But where every little detail you see, they've saved money. So actually, this one didn't cost all that much. It, it really didn't. That's what almost makes me mad. I mean, because they've got it at a price where it's not worth uh, restoring or finding a way to restore the other one because it would actually cost more at the end than buying this one. That's the society we live in today. I mean, okay, I know. Uh, here's the guy, you know, walking around with his... Uh, camera and vlogging in his yard complaining about you know about consumer society and yeah you know what you're right but there are things where it seems to me that we did you know we did find ways of uh, reusing things didn't we yeah anyway oh, well anyway uh, I'm using it anyway a lot all right right now I think it's just because I was really put off yesterday about that. Um, and it finally took me, I know it looks small, but it took me a couple hours to put the darn thing up and to set it in a way that uh, uh, I have little cement blocks. So I drilled holes in the cement blocks to, to really uh, be certain that it's nice and secure. What was really, really difficult, probably the most difficult of all, was putting on the canopy onto the onto the metal shell. Oh, I mean, do people actually realize that uh, you know these things have to fit without you know fighting and almost tearing them apart? I'm thinking like, oh great, you know this is new. Am I supposed to tear the thing 
now to get it on oh anyway here I am complaining complaining and what should I say it's again a first world complaint vlog really is isn't it it's a first world complaint vlog that's maybe what I should call it first world complaint vlog <sighs> Some people don't even have enough to eat, and I'm making a, a rant about a barbecue canopy. Gee whiz. No wonder, no wonder actually some societies uh, look at us and say, you know, uh, I, we can't believe it. What are you guys t going on about? You have so many great things in your life, and you complain about that? Yeah. It's funny how, that, that's probably one of the nice things about vlogging like this, is that sometimes you're right in the middle of the vlog and then you realize how ridiculous you are. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> really. You want it? I'll show you, I just look at my bike. I'll, I'll, you, you'll understand in a second how it fits in. Now you see this first uh, 10 speed bike, it comes from Canada. It's a CCM and it was basically, I was just gonna say now it's all rusted because we just leave it there as a decoration kind of thing. Well, this bicycle was basically CCM's first foray into making 10 speed bicycles. So all they did basically is add, is make the 10 speed model onto uh, a metal, I was almost gonna say cast iron bicycle it weighs a ton. It weighs about as much as my e-bike, which is already pretty heavy. This was a horrible bike in a way, but it was a recycled, when you think about it, they recycled models that they already had and, and made a, you know, made a 10 speed bike out of it. Of course, nobody, uh, the, the people that had used it in the beginning, like myself, quickly realized that this as, a, as the expression says, this dog will not hunt. It was probably one of the worst 10-speed bikes existing. But uh, it was mine. And it was my uh, bike as a young teenager. And it, it might have had 10 speeds, but I still had to push it up the hills because it was just so darn heavy. But, you see, it was recycling old techno a new technology onto old material at the time. So, is that my first world rant coming to an end I think it is yeah anyway and I see the batteries almost uh, toast on this one so okay DC signing off take care hope you have a great Sunday bye bye <laughs>